Nico, ano role mo dito sa Wild Boys? Yan. Ah uh, yes, uh, yung role ko is uh, Ferdy, mm. uh, and siya yung parang parang goofy guy ng group. Mm. Uh, hindi siya magaling magdance, mm. uh, alam niya. So parang it started off with actually they called him Boy Boy Kahoy. Okay. Kasi parang so rich yung katawan, and hindi ako dancer in real life. So uh, medyo comedic yung matake ko dito sa film. Okay. Uh, Nico, you're you're no you're blessed. Hindi ka na wala ng racket ng assignment, di ba? Films. TV, dami mong ginagawa, di ba? Oh, oh. How do you feel? Hindi ka, lagi kang na, ano, in demand ka, lagi kang naiisip ng mga producers. How um, do you feel? Pati hosting. Uh, um, sarap sa feeling. Oh. Sobrang sarap sa feeling. Kasi this is my dream. Acting, mm. hosting, uh, lahat. So, mm -hmm. this has been my life ever since I've been 14 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, Nag-start ako sa Los Angeles and then eventually uh, pumunta ako sa Pinas for, for show business. So, uh, it's, it's, I thank God every day that I'm able to do something that I love. At napapansin ka na rin, may acting award ka na rin, di ba? Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, nanalo ako ng total of six Best Actor Awards. Oh, oh. So, uh, nanalo ako ng Best Actor Award dito sa Pinas uh, in 2019 for a film called Sabado, mm -hmm. uh, directed by Carlo Alvarez. That was actually, uh, sinabi nila, uh, the first foreigner to ever win a Best Actor Award sa Pinas. Mm -hmm. So, it made a headline. Tapos, uh, I just won five Best Actor Awards for a film called Maniac, uh, hmm. starring Joko Diaz and Christine Vermas. And okay. Uh, and uh, nanalo ako ng Best Actor Awards sa uh, Sweden, India, um, Budapest, mga ibang countries, so all over the world. So. Okay. Okay. And Nico, dahil ano, di ba, you're good looking, you're sexy, how do you feel pag ano, maraming nag... Uh, maraming nagkakagusto sa'yo, maraming men magde-desire sa'yo. How do you feel? Hindi lang babae, pati even gays. How do, you, <laughs> how do you feel pag ganun? Okay lang, okay lang. I mean, um, that's partly my branding din eh. Mm. Uh, sexy, uh -huh. and then like Viva Max na ako, so I, I, I went bold. Uh, so I, I, I'm very, you know, I'm, I'm Italian at heart, right? Mm. I'm an Italian, so mm. Italians are very liberated. Mm. And they love, you know, they love romance, mm. and, and they're very parang sexual people. Mm. So I, I love it. I, I'm very okay with it, mm -hmm. and uh, so I'm happy that I have fans that are from females, mm. um, from the LGBTQI plus community. Yes. So parang very broad you and your fan base go, which which is awesome, and I'm, I'm super thankful for that. Okay. Meron na bang in a way na cross the line na offend ka? May ganon na ba? Ah, uh, minsan, minsan. Oh. I mean. It's hard to avoid that as a mm. showbiz style. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, how do you react to that? Um, I don't take it personally. Uh, I, I've learned in life to not take anything personally, mm. and and so, but my my cross the line moment, uh, I just you know um, chew it away and and, mm. and don't pay any attention to it. Because yeah, that is not in not even in show business. We, we experience that in our day to day lives. Okay. So um, I just for me lagging you know. Uh, respect, mm -hmm. respect, respect. Kind if if you didn't bus to ska or, or something like that, just be respectful and and kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I'm going to do it. I'm No comment on that. No comment on my love life. Mm. But you're happy. Uh, I'm I'm you know, um, I'm learning to be happy. Mm. I'm learning to be happy. I think. Uh, I know what I mean that I said that I've gone bro. And that's been publicized for <laughs> a lot of a lot of moments mm. in, in back then and mm. now and so parang uh in a focus ko sa sarili ko okay. and learning to grow and, and learning to love myself more. I think I think uh Vincent we forget to love ourselves. Uh but my partner Taya, we, we love our partnership mm. right? but we forget about ourselves. So I think I'm just learning to, I know, to love myself and, and also grow my relationship with God. Because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm a Christian, so parang gusto ko bumilik don. Because I I I'm an Italian, so uh, we're very religious, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, dahil busy tayo and maraming giragawa, we forget to, I know, to um, do the important things like going to church and, and having our faith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last na lang, nakita mo sa Instagram, meron ka parang upcoming business. Yes! Oh, oh. Yes! I was waiting for that question. Pwede na yung kwento? Oo oh, oh, naman, oo oh, naman, yes. Underwear ba yun? Yes, underwear oh. brand. Uh, so, I will be releasing an underwear brand. Okay. Um, end of October, start of November, around then. Uh, we'll be having, we'll be starting off with a select, uh, a select batch okay. of Loko Loko underwear. 
so it's going to be sort of an exclusive batch, um, Suguro maybe 200 to 300 pieces just to get people excited. So Suguro, uh, we can call that pre-selling. Okay. Uh, tapos, uh, na, pag mas malapit na sa, ano, sa Pasko, we'll be releasing it talaga, na hard launch. Any personal designs? Designs mo? Yeah, personal design ko. Uh, personal design ko. And it's, I really went for a big like uh, Kelvin Klein, Hugo Boss. Those were kind of what I was going for. So more of like a European underwear. Mm -hmm. um, as opposed to like, because I noticed my, my bench, I'm my bench, my bench is really the biggest underwear brand mm -hmm. in the Sabinas. So um, I'm not really trying to compete with big brands like Bench. Mm -hmm. um, I want to bring something unique to the Filipino market, which is um, an affordable underwear. But mm -hmm. Para siyang, ano, para siyang luxury brand na underwear. Okay. Um, yung, yung look niya, um, luxury. Pero yung presyo, um, very comparable sa, sa bench or sa other, other uh, underwear brands. So, I want everybody to, uh, to be able to afford this product. Not just uh, yung mga people with money. Bakit sa dami ng business underwear? But underwear? Uh, <laughs> it just feels right. I don't know why. Okay. It's siguro kasi it in line show with my branding. Uh -huh. um, just because Medyo parang sex icon will say ano dito sa Pinas. So I think it just fits perfectly with, with my branding. That was um shopping last name Loho, which is very you know controversial din uh dahil sa Pasco and mm. me. So I wanted to make it something that parang mainay, loho loho. So it's very catchy. Um but at the same time it sounds you know expensive. Okay. Uh, so I thought an underwear brand would be the best way of Representing Suguro, me as a whole. Okay. Um, because, um, tawo dito, uh, my view on life is very open and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a very liberated individual. Mm -hmm. So I feel like uh, feeling good in underwear is something that is very mm -hmm. important for a male. Mm -hmm. uh, feeling sexy, you know, because the first thing a man does when he wakes up, well, the bende actually, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> one of the first few things a man does when he wakes up. Is he puts on his underwear, okay. and when he puts on his underwear, and, and if my mirror shot or whatever, um, and he feels good, then uh, quite likely he's gonna have a great day because he confident shot. Okay. Um, so I, w I wanted to go now. Okay, if a man feels confident in his underwear, the underwear and the way he looks, and we're not we're not saying everybody has to be mm. not mm. na, 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 fit, na fit, right? Because mm. uh, like I said, this underwear is for any size. Mm. Uh, we'll be having and. and any any um, demographic, kaya yeah. I just want people to feel that look, okay. feel that sexiness by putting on these underwear. Okay, Nico, ikaw, how many times a day ka magpalit ng underwear? <laughs> in, in a day, in a day. So do that one best is in a week. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, so uh, uh, twice per day. Twice a day. Pag sobrang busy. Okay. Pero once per day if if wala wala ng ginagawa. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.